Okay, everyone, welcome back. Um, it's been a few days since our pre-series. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We have uh, we're switching gears, we're switching ladders, and we're going back to wild. Well, I mean, not permanently, but just for this episode. We have a reincarnate uh, shaman. It's wild, obviously, only deck because of the theme behind the deck itself. Let's go over the list and have some old classics I'm really in love with, or I used to love. Uh, Earthshock, Blood Mage Thanos, two Fire Tongue Totems, two Haunted Creepers. Talk about a classic. Man, that used to be in almost every single deck I used, especially Shaman. One Loot Hoarder, two Norubian Eggs, which is excellent if you get started. You can um, combo them with uh, Recarnate itself uh, to get a lot of value, or uh, you save it for other combos. Uh, this, as you see, Destroy Minion, Return Full Life, awesome stuff. Um, Rockbiter, even though the nerf's live, it's you know it sucks it's not being one mana, but still not the end of the world. It's really good synergy with uh, the eggs and also removal. Hex, of course, lightning storm, one mana totem. Barnes, which is pretty cool. He has a lot of synergy in this deck. If you get lucky with the shredders, emperor, etc., etc., that one defender of Argus, two shred uh, pilot shredders, excellent. Uh, Bloodlust for a really good burst. <laughs> Um, to finish your opponent off. Two Sludge Belchers. Excellent. Especially when you use it with Recarnate. Uh, so stuff like that. You could get a lot of value. Especially if it's a lot of aggressive decks. Um, Emperor Thorson. Savannah's Windwinner. Excellent. She's a prime candidate for the combo. The good Dr. Boom. Uh, Cal. Love Cal. Reminds me of my Ramp Druid days, thinking of which I think it's going to inspire me to make a wild Ramp Druid deck and see how I do. I actually, not net mine, but I actually come up with one myself. And then the Corruptor for good stuff. The only thing with the games I've played, I've noticed that the Corruptor, sometimes, uh, since you're a Shaman, you spam a lot of minions, you get a lot of totems on board. So it kind of actually sometimes is a challenge. And also, card draw can be a challenge. But while it's a little bit slower, I. Face nothing but priest tonight, so two wins for the deck so far. But anyways, let's go ahead and queue up and see how it goes, guys. Okay, we have a paladin, so let's keep that. We'll keep the loot hoarder. We're gonna get. Um, should I keep the blood? He's probably secret, so it's gonna be really important to have early game. But let's get rid of blood mage right now. We need you need a haunted creepers, your ruby and egg stuff like that. And that is not exactly the start you want. Um, okay, so it's not a secret paladin. Interesting. One thing about wild, you do get a lot of cool variety of decks. And this is going to be a challenge because um, it's obviously a control paladin. And paladins have excellent removal. And they kind of counter the shaman. They always have uh, their way with the shaman. At least traditionally. We'll see here. So let's go ahead and put pressure. One thing about the author uses the good Dr. Boom, which is an excellent card, but I'm thinking of putting Niptalon in here because reason being, um, refill your hand, which card draw tends to be an issue. Also, I mean, I could technically remove that. And you know what? Oh, man, I see that nerf. You could play that. I could remove this. He's probably a corruptor and get rid of the... Thing, but let's do this. Let's just play on curve and get some card draw. All right, cool. We need something like that. But anyways, I was thinking about Neptulon instead of the Doctor. Reason being is because the uh, Boom Bots, as great as they are, mess up your synergy with uh, Naroth. So you end up not getting, let's say, Sylvanas back or a Sludge Belcher because you get two bots or something like that. All right, so let's see what we have here. Good doctor, that's not good enough. We're going to hero power. All right, that's good. I am going to see. So he has to trade into there. So what we're going to do is take advantage of this. We're not going to trade. We're just going to go to face um, and just get some card draw. Next turn, we'll, pr we'll, we'll deal with it. Because, you know, he has to go into the... If I didn't get the taunt, I would have played that turn much different. But, you yeah, see, there we go. You see, these guys are so tough, man. But at least he removes uh, that here for um, that small board. Okay, so what do we have here? We have five mana. Ooh, the Sludge Belcher. You know what? Let's stay on curve. Um, 
But yeah, let's just stay on curve. These guys, you know, let's just deal with them later. They're not too threatening. And I'd rather put pressure. And then next turn we have Windrunner. Ooh, ooh, Jungle Book. That's actually really good. We gotta deal with that minion. Because it synergizes too well with his... Uh, Ooh, if we had enough mana, we could actually do that combo. We're going to save it. So what we're going to do is... I'm tempted uh, to put her down in just dealing with... Uh, with Well, we guarantee you I'll slow him down if we recarnate. You know what? Let, let's, let's get some... Uh, let's get some synergy here. It'll slow him down. And I got guaranteed uh, synergy for my Corruptor. So I'd rather do that, uh, build up a board. If we get Bloodlust, we'll probably get lethal soon. I could have put uh, Sylvanas and Stolen one next turn, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so he's definitely a Corruptor as well. So this is going to be the battle of whoever gets the best uh, synergy and also, more importantly... Um, board clears. Uh, we have the good doctor, and we're going to have to play him on curve, but first let's clean up this mess. Uh, Alright, we're going to do this. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. How many do I have? Oh, we can have uh, five. Oh, so we have enough. <laughs> Oh, math was off. So we missed one boom bot. That's okay. Actually, my math was off. I thought we were going to be... I forgot we only have seven that can be on the board. So that kind of sucks. But actually, in the long run, it probably will benefit because I do not want... Um, okay, that's a second consecration. So that's actually really, really good. And that boom bot did virtually nothing. <laughs> no, you got to go through the top first, dude. Alright, so this turn, let's hope he puts something big on the board, because Cal is going to be really nice soon, but we're not going to probably play him just yet. It depends. If he could deal with the Doctor, then we will. If not, we're going to uh, hold off on that. Alright, so let's put some more threats. He's gotten rid of two of his main removals. We're taking a lot of damage, though. Alright, Hex, Hex, Hex. We can actually... Uh, no, we're not going to do that. We need to, let's do Savannah's. So, so what are we going to move? We need to remove some stuff. Now let's put pressure. Let's remove one of his minions. Yeah, but I'm taking a lot of damage. Um, if he puts out Tyrion, I have an answer for that. Uh, Cal is going to be really good next turn turn because if he does have uh, Tyrion I'm going to actually attack no wait we won't have enough mana too bad all right so he's gonna deal with that that's okay I guess what can you do he's at turn eight we need to re Ooh, blessing a cling so he's gonna be very aggressive here all right so Ooh, he's not going to move up. What we're going to do is kill that Savannah and use our cow. It'll be tough for him to deal. We don't get much back. And we get a very powerful minion back. So hopefully he puts something down that I could hex. I'm really, really low, so I need to start focusing on board control. We're going to probably hex that, believe it or not. I don't want him to get any kind of synergy because he has Blessing of Kings, which he might put on there. If he does, ooh, okay. So he's he's going all out then, huh? So we need our... Uh, oh, actually, we're going to do... Let's get Pray rid of uh, mercy. this. No, actually, we're going to hold on. Let's do this. Let none survive. We're gonna kill that. Get her back. Okay, that's good. Um, should we hex that? <laughs> Reason being is because I'm really low on health. Now nah, we're not. Gonna uh, let's see here, there, and we're gonna do.
What a combo. I could have put in more, but I'm kind of hesitant. Now, he could easily kill me, though. Um, if he has a Blessing of Kings. No matter what, this game is pretty cool, and you're getting some cool synergy stuff. Alright, so that's not Blessing of Kings. That's not going to be enough. Wow, real close game. And we have a victory. Well, oh, I didn't want a bad manner, but it is what it is. Okay, cool. So we have a good, good match. And I guarantee you I did misplays. It's um definitely a, a challenge to talk and concentrate. And I have a ha bad habit of uh, talking too much. Anyways, that was kind of a long game. So we'll end it there. And we will definitely be making more. I actually plan on playing this deck uh fair amount this season on the wild ladder and uh we have a beast druid deck and some uh paladin stuff so i have rare to play paladin stuff on the rink ladder okay guys i hope you enjoy this and take care bye